Uh, first of all, uh, just to ap apologize that I got in uh, a little late than I was supposed to. It's been a very hectic week for us. It's been a very hectic morning. We are still sitting um, parliament and uh, we had other, other meetings that also just popped up. But um, this was um, more important and uh, I just had to leave uh, everything else that was happening in the morning so I could make it here. Um, so Honorable Minister for Culture, Europe and International Development, Mr. Neil Gray, the Scottish Government officials, Ms. Keating, Tasha Boardman and Mr. Neil McCormest, I hope I said that right, Represented, representatives of uh, His Excellency, the British High Commissioner to Malawi, Mr. David Beer, if I don't think he's here. Oh, that's a rep, sorry. All development partners present here, the Malawi-Scotland Partnership Board Chair, Dr. Anne Poyer, the Scotland-Malawi Partnership CEO, David Hope and his team, the Chief Executive Officer of Malawi-Scotland Partnership, Ms. Stella Masangano and your team, uh, the Principal Administrative Officer in the Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. At our power, and more importantly, members of Malawi-Scotland Partnership, distinguished guests, members of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning once again. It is an honor and pleasure to be part of this symposium. I'm indeed very delighted to be here at the 2022 Malawi-Scotland Partnership Symposium. Let me begin by thanking Scottish government for its unwavering support in developing the social enterprise sector in Malawi, among other support that the Scottish are providing to us. It is good to know that Malawi Scotland partnership with support with support from the Scottish government has continued to create strong links between our two countries in many areas of development including social enterprise. We have a lot to learn from each other and to share with each other. On behalf of the Malawian government, I look forward and believe that if Malawi can innovate and come up with enterprises that are viable, we can secure markets in Scotland, as well as solve many social problems that we are facing today. We are currently living in a dynamic world. Malawi needs partners such as Scotland to innovate together and share digital experiences. This is the only way for progressing towards a better tomorrow. The government realizes the critical role that social enterprises play in this nation in contributing to economic growth and inclusion. Social enterprises contribute to addressing today's key social challenges, including poverty, social exclusion, and unemployment, just like uh, those that have spoken before me did uh, indicate. Social enterprises further promote sustainable development and new ways of doing business. As social enterprises generate value that, befit, that benefits local communities and society at large, scaling their social impact is not only the interest of the Malawi-Scotland partnership, but the interest of the Malawi government. Working together, sharing our international experiences on how social enterprises are developed, how they are managed, and associated challenges in the way forward for Malawi, sorry, is the way forward for Malawi to achieve great things. Government will support the scaling of social enterprises in this country to, among other things, help them attract new customers or clients, develop new products and services, diversify into new markets, expand into new geographic areas, and most importantly, attract investments in order for them 
to expand. I'm pleased today that through this symposium, Malawi-Scotland partnership and its membership have carefully chosen this year's theme on social enterprise for economic growth, job creation, and increasing income levels. This is in line indeed with the fact that government is working tirelessly to achieve economic growth and focusing on issues of job creation as well as increasing income levels. The social enterprise ecosystem in Malawi has been growing slowly and events of this nature will facilitate the gaining of the momentum. But like all, but like all other industries, social enterprises need to constantly adapt to today's disruptive economy. To stay relevant, social enterprises need to switch business practices or adopt new technologies quickly to respond to the changing dynamics of business today. I'm heartened that many social enterprises work to resolve and recognizes challenges, challenges faced by communities. In fact, I have been reliably informed that the Scottish government through challenges worldwide and other organizations have been working to exchange expertise between Malawi and Scotland on social enterprises. Malawi has a lot of challenges. challenges. Uh, for instance, in the agriculture sector, uh, some of the challenges we have is uh, the um, ever uh, rising cost expensive uh, fertilizers, the synthetic fertilizers. We, we thus need innovation in this area to ensure that uh, we can um, reach out to a lot of uh, our small scale farmers. In the health sector, Malawi continues to face diseases like cholera, malaria due to unhygienic conditions among others, for example. This is a demonstration that innovation and social enterprises are crucial to resolve many problems being faced in all sectors. Um, just want to deviate a little from my uh, written remarks. Uh, actually, um, I was impressed when I was coming in, um, visiting a few pavilions uh, that uh, we have um, uh, firms like Ecogen, that are actually, we can say they actually do understand the role of social enterprises. Uh, for those that may not um, know or didn't visit the Ecogen uh, Pavilion, Ecogen is actually producing um, biogas equipment, which they can actually install in um, people's homes. They can install in anyone's homes. And by doing that, we can all cook with clean energy, but we can also I ensure that we are looking after our environment, which we have um, deplete, which we have uh, messed up so much. So I just wanted to give that example. For those that I have not visited or have not mentioned, it doesn't seem it doesn't mean that you're not doing uh, a commendable job. It's just that Ecogen stuck uh, in my mind, and among the few that I visited, Ecogen was amongst them. The Scottish government have traditionally given money to charitable causes offered their expertise and resources as well. The partnership between Scottish and Malawi and Malawian government social entrepreneurs is a new way of social giving. Though this, I'm sorry, through this, we will solve the many social challenges that Malawi is facing. I thank the entrepreneurs that have begun this journey and certainly hope your efforts are a start to a greater achievement. Some of them, like I said, in this room. Ladies and gentlemen, multinational companies did not start big the way we see them today. Just like social enterprises, they also started on a small scale. Hence, they need, sub hence they need support from government in order to thrive. And I will ensure that our government support this by creating a good environment for thriving. Ladies and gentlemen, I will continue to advocate and, uh, that policies and mindsets are more appropriate to last century for the local people to develop enterprises that are viable. 
The reality is that jobs are being created by social enterprises, employing twos and threes and four people, but solving challenges that we are facing in all sectors. These are often regarded as insignificant by economic departments, yet thousands of jobs are being created by these in this way. This phenomenon is called the invisible sector of the economy, meaning the small business creating lots of jobs, yet not making the news, each of them too small to attract the attention of the media, politicians, and bureaucrats, yet collectively having a huge impact on job creation and economic development. Today, we celebrate your good work in establishing positive partnerships. I hope your example will encourage more SMEs to explore new and innovative ways to contribute to the development of Malawi in general. I also invite you to join me in actively participating in today's discussions, which also celebrates the growing importance of social enterprise sector for economic growth and Malawi, for economic growth and Malawi Scotland 15th year of existence in Malawi. Let's not forget women as we develop our social enterprises, as they are dynamic and provide ideas and energy. They bring about balance as well as a different perspective to the things they do. The journey to support social enterprises cannot be focused on the efforts of setting up entities alone, but balancing gender gaps. Every individual can vote with their resources to help drive social change in a sustainable manner. Well, thank you very much for joining me here today. I look forward to exploring new opportunities to create a more caring and inclusive society with you. All the best for your social entrepreneurship journey ahead. And I thank you all for your attention. God bless Malawi, God bless Scotland. God bless us all, thank you.